Okay guys, this piano's an awesome. Welcome to a new video. As requested by Andy and Noel, um, I'm making a 2020 update to my Call of Duty uh, Zombies tier list. Now, I'm not including... Um, I'm including some from non-Treyarch, but I'm just going to mention them after. I'm going through all the Treyarch ones first because everybody knows them. and They're the <laughs> really the only good ones, as we all know. So, let's uh, just get right into this. Um... Up here in, I know I'm reviewing everything outright, but I don't really care. Um, so up here in the godlike section, you'll see um, Mob of the Dead, Buried, and Origins. Now I'm going to talk about each map a little bit, in each one. Now, Mob of the Dead and Art and Buried, they're at my, um, they're, they're highlighted, as you see right here. Um, or they're blue. They are both god tier maps, in my opinion. Mob of the Dead, fantastic map. There's so much to do in a good way. It doesn't feel like a chore. It feels like fun things to do. It's always fun to play with friends. It's fun to play by yourself if you want to challenge a little bit. Um, it's not insanely hard, but like there's those Easter eggs. If you want to, if you are like a very skilled player, there are those Easter eggs that you can do, like Golden Spork, little things like that. And but they're not for everybody. And there's things that you can do that are for everybody. You can do fun things and just like. Like, just mess around the map and build a plane and stuff like that. It's a very fun map. And the Blendergat OP. Gotta love it. Um, Buried. I think Buried is, like, the most fun I have playing a map. I know that's a hot take. But I think Buried is the most, like, fun that I have. I think Mob of the Dead, like, statistically speaking, is, like, the map that I put at number one. Like, it's the best map. But Buried is, like, the most fun that I have playing a map, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why they're both at, like, number one. Um, this is in order by tier, so like A, everything in A, this is the best thing in A, this is the worst thing in A. Um, so this is fully in order. Now you'll see Origins right after that. Um, very fun, I love Origins, like, I think it's, aside from the ending cutscene map-wise, it was the best way to end, end uh, Black Ops 2. I have so much fun playing it. I never have a bad time except for one I play with Noah and he ends the game. Um, now down here in A, um, now I am I will say um, I don't I don't find really much of a difference between Origins in Black Ops two and three. I don't I don't prefer really one over the other. I think they both have their strong suits. Um, and then getting into A, we have Ascension first. Uh, I think Ascension is like again one of it's only step below origins is incredible it's so much fun um it just does get a little repetitive after a while especially if you go like really far and you get all the landers and you halfway to pack a punch and you get down it's like sucks but um ascension's great i have a ton of fun playing it next you have kino it's a classic who doesn't love kino the only issue is you play it with kent too many times and he wants to be the medic and it's just not fun anymore five <laughs> I need some more beans for the chowder. What else can I say? It's a great map. There's, I I have some of the most fun ever playing five. It's broken, in like the best way possible. But the winner's house sucks. I don't. <laughs> I still think the winner's house sucks in any form. I don't really care. Um, if you want a wonder weapons or a perk tier list, let me know in the comments because I'll do them. I got nothing to do. Um, now you'll see transits next. Transits hot take, but I love transit. Um. I mean, maybe not for everybody, but some people certainly don't like transit. Some people, um, I think it's, again, a great map. <laughs> I hate Avogadro, but who cares? Um, I, we all know that only two people in existence have built the jet gun, and that's about all you can say for transit. I hate the denizens, though. The denizens suck, but I will say I've braved many a denizen field trip to get back to the box after it moved. Um, now I included all the maps from Transit, from Green Run, because I like them. I, they're standalone maps in my opinion, I still play them, so, Town's a great map, I love Town. I sit up in the bar and I just sit there for hours, I don't care, it's repetitive, it's all hell, but Town, I have a lot of fun playing Town, I'm partial to it for sentimental reasons, I used to play with my friends a lot on Town, it was one of the first maps I played, just Town, because it's an easy survival map. And I still like town to this day. I don't care what anybody says. It's the best part of transit. And transit's ahead of it because you get everything. But town is sick. Um, 
Also in transit, you can actually like play at diner in a mode that's not turn, but we'll get to that. Um, Varukt is next. I love Varukt. Reasons. One, it's a square. Two, it's really cool. It's just fun. It's an insane asylum. It's also a multiplayer map, as Null pointed out a couple hours ago in a Discord call. Um, you start on opposite sides if you're playing with like multiple people, and I think that's a cool concept. And you like, especially if you're playing with people who don't like to buy the doors, and now everybody has to buy the doors. Um, the Rising Drock is cool. I didn't play too much of it, but I really like it. The aesthetics are really nice, and the gameplay is cool. In my opinion, one of the best Black Ops Three maps original. It's, I mean. On the list, it is the best Black Ops 3 map, in my opinion. Um, next, in the B area, we have uh, 9. I think 9 was the best Chaos map, um, including the Chaos maps, because some of them are fun, like 9. 9 is really cool. Um, I would put it into A, but it's just not up to par with all the other maps that are in there. But 9's cool. Um, the Reason the Giant, they're again, they're cool, but like, they're, they're just alright. Um, like... I don't understand the huge fuss over the giant. It's cool again. Like, it's it's fun. The, th the t three teleporters are nice. Uh, I like that concept. But it does get old fast. And I don't know. It's just, like, it's fun to play, though. I do like it. I have fun with... Uh, it is fun with multiple people because it's, like, a little small. And you can train in certain areas. And it's a very enjoyable time. Um, classified, I thought it was a good remake of 5, but it doesn't beat 5, so naturally it's on the B tier. Also, I, the Easter egg, i never doing that, and nobody ever should. Triac is stupid. Um, Nuketown, um, honestly, I would put Nuketown a little farther out, but it's, it's oversight on my part, but I like Nuketown. I think it's cool, and I like how small it is, and it's very hectic, and you can have a lot of fun with that. I think it's for being, like, the smallest multiplayer map in Black Ops 2. It was cool that they just made it a zombies map, and it's even crazier. Um, Alpha Omega is right behind it, but Alpha Omega is different in its own way. It's a little too many things to do, but it's fun. Um, but the, the the little menial tasks, they add up, and it becomes a lot. Um, Blood of the Dead falls into the same category, and it's just, like, it becomes a little too much. Um... Sheena Numa is just okay, but it's just like, eh, this, it, it gets old pretty quickly, and it's like, how much do you really want to run through the swamp? Um, then in the mids category, we have uh, this this lively bunch of bus depot. Um, I think, again, it's fun in the same way that Nuketown's fun. It's small, it gets crazy, but it's... Again, it's just like Nuketown, it's, eh, it's, it's Bus Depot, dude. Like, it's the, it's the weakest, and no, it's not the weakest, actually, but it's it's just okay out of the green run. Um, Noct is great for being the OG, but it's just, it's only two rooms, it's not, it gets old very, very fast, it gets too crazy, and it's, it's dark, it's gloomy, even in Black Ops 3, like, Black Ops 3 is cool in its own way, but the Wonder Fizz Orb makes it weird in a, in a certain sense. So, like, Noct is a nice survival map, purely that, but, like, Wonder Fizz is just okay. Um, it just makes it, like, and it feels like a different map, but... Um, also, the Sniper Cabinet sucks. Why would you ever buy the Sniper Cabinet in any version of Noct? The car sucks, and the Locust sucks. That's all I can say. Tugged or Tone is here for gameplay reasons. Now, as a map... It's okay. It's just alright. It's below Alpha Omega and Blood of the Dead because there's even more menial BS to do that like doesn't really add any gameplay value. It just feels like little chores you're doing. Um, it's there for gameplay reasons. You'll see it's down here in flaming garbage because storyline-wise, that's where it belongs. That is the worst way you could have ended a series. I hate Thug the Toten for that reason, but as a map, if I'm just going to play it for gameplay... It's in the mids category. Now, down here, and I do not like, um, you will see um, Shangri-La, Farm, <laughs> Shadows of Evil, and Voyage of Despair. They all just suck. They're just bad. They're bad maps. Um, I don't really have fun playing them. I don't wish to play them. Shangri-La is definitely on Mars, <laughs> but it's not a good map because of that. Farm... <clears throat> It's just the worst green run map. It's the worst plate. I hate going there in transit. It's gloomy. It sucks. There's 
no good spots in my opinion that I like. I know there are spots you can try in there, but I hate it. Shadows of Evil, just I don't care about it. I don't care like they give you the most one of the most overpowered weapons in the game, and I still don't care about it. Void of Despair, it's just not fun. I don't I don't have fun playing it. It's cool concept like they you somehow ruin the concept of the Titanic, but like I don't want to swim through the boiler rooms and collect all these parts and do all this extra stuff for these characters I don't know anything about. Um or care about <laughs> I mean I know it's I know it's chaos story, but it's it was the worst introduction to the chaos story that you could have picked, I think. Like nine was way cooler. Um now in Flaming Garage, <laughs> um I granted I haven't played that much of Revelations, but it's like you took all the fun out of your previous maps that you you have all these great maps that you could have chose from and you turn them into this and it just story-wise and gameplay wise why would you play revelations um ancient evil just just one of the worst um chaos maps um i do not have fun playing I, I don't I just don't have fun playing ancient evil at all also i just realized i didn't talk about dead of the night up in mids um, you just have even more things to do than Alpha Omega and Brother Dead, but it's the same concept. It's just like all the other chaos maps. They just get, they think chores equals fun. And like, Dead of the Night is one of the better ones, but Ancient Evil is not. They're nearly the same map, but just with different settings. Um, Die Rise sucks. Die Rise is so bad. And I don't care what anybody says about it being from Black Ops 2. Die Rise is a boring map. I the slick of fire is the only redeeming quality of it. I can the box spawns in the worst locations. You immediately get like jettisoned from your starting area, and you, it takes forever to get back. I don't want to do any of the activities that you have to do. I do not like die rides at all. Um, and moon is even worse. If not for Togder on Toten or Togder Toten, moon would be the the worst map. Um, I I despise moon. I will never like now granted I will even even the maps in like even down here in flaming garbage I do occasionally play these maps all these maps like I will play I will play every single one of them however I am the least inclined to play any of the ones in this category um moon is a prime example of that will you catch me playing moon occasionally yeah but do I really like it no um Togder Toten is again a, a just a terrible map and we should not it, it should never be played um down here in this category we have not enough experience and i haven't played any of these to enough extent to care about them or talk about them and uh call of the dead is just like i didn't i didn't play it i never had that map back i played talk to Toten. um i liked the gameplay of it to an extent but i only played Call of the Dead in the sense that I played it on the mobile version like three times and it was not good there. Um, I only got the scavenger once and it was, it sucked. Um, I haven't played Garai Krovi like ever. Um, I watched Andy play it one time and that's it. And I don't know. I, I haven't even seen gameplay of Zetsubo no Shima. I don't even know what it looks like. Um, in miscellaneous here, I'm going to talk about these anyway. Um, Diner? Like, turned is like an I'm really underrated game mode, and I don't think it's a good zombies map, but turned is fun. I, I think it's a fun part of the game, at least. Um, that Ups Arcade on 1 and 2. Nobody talks about That Ups 2. It was really cool. They they elaborated on a really fun concept. That Ups 1, I had I used to play for hours, and 2 was a really cool way for them to improve on that, and they did it in a great way. Um, Spaceland, as like, if I know Treyarch didn't made it, but like, Spaceland was fun. In its own aspect, um, I like it's the only good one out of Infinite Warfare. I didn't like play and or care about the others, but Spaceland was like just all right, and I didn't mind it um, as a standalone map in which you kill zombies with guns. It was it was pretty fun. Um, in terms of World War Two, Final Reich was just like, eh, like it's cool, but it's not very replayable. Um, it's very easy, um, and once you do it, it's like I don't really have any reason to do it again. Um, Groston House is one of the worst survival maps I've played. It's, it sucks. It feels like if you took a Killing Floor map and made it bad. Um, 
But anyway, there you have it. Um, again, I play all of these. These are all fun. At, to some extent, um, this last category is just... I, 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 I hate them. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them as maps. And while I may play them occasionally, it's, it's only because I feel like I should. And to see if anything's changed, I guess. Um, but otherwise, uh, I hope you like this. Uh, if you made it this far, this wasn't supposed to be a 15 minute long video. But if you made it this far, congrats. I know Andy and Null did. Um, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you want me to make another tier list, I will. Um, I want to... Andy, Null, Julian, Brendan, anyone else who hears this, if you guys want to make one, go ahead. Because um, I'd love to hear how your opinions has changed every year. And I want to hear your terrible takes and tell me why Bury is a bad map. Because I would love to know. Um, these are all my opinion. However... Um, in this case, it seems my opinion is probably right. So, I dare you. <laughs> Show me your tier list. They probably suck. Anyway, like, subscribe, vote for Nixon.